Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight and uh, tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the importance of lighting in your images, especially when you're working with a DAZ studio. And of course, when you get to send those images, rather those characters over to Blender, you know, the Unreal Engine and 3ds Max, Maya Cinema 4D, you name it. It's extremely important. Uh, to uh, handle lulling properly. And in DAL Studio, there are a number of ways to do that. And as always, guys, if you haven't uh, already subscribed, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click that subscribe button right there and uh, hit the notification bell after you subscribe so that you're alerted when I post a new video. And to all my faithful subscribers, thank you so much. We've come a long way. And thank you so much to all my patrons out there. All right, so let's get started today. Uh, we're gonna be using this character. Uh, this is a, a, a black character called Nida8. Uh, she's available on the Daz 3D Marketplace. And I've actually animated this character. We're going to play back so you can see the facial animation with her blinking. So this is before lighting. And I'm, I'm going to show you why it's so important to uh, get the lighting right if you're going to make like really convincing images. And the awesome thing is that whatever lighting preset that I'm going to show you can be applied to animation. OK, so this animation, it looks uh, OK. Yeah, it looks I mean, you can see the the mouth moving. So you can imagine if I had like a, a dialogue piece, the character's character would be saying something. But without the proper lighting, there's you you're missing something. You're missing some of the emotion that she's trying to convey. So one of the things that I would encourage you to take a look at is called HDRI Photoshoot. So this is a pack of uh, several lighting setups using uh, HDRI images. And the awesome thing is that uh, whatever you do, whatever setup that you use, and I'm here in the render settings. So after you get it, you'll be able to, inst after you install it using your Dust Central, it will show up under your render settings, under the presets, okay? And the cool thing is that these lighting presets are going to improve your image so, so much that even after you, it, we, so, okay, let me slow down because <laughs> sometimes I get so excited. So this, this saved me so much time. And what is, what is really neat is that let's go back here. So it's at, it's $16.95, okay, $16.95. And this, I'm speaking to all my uh, fellow dreamers out there and storytellers. If you're starting out in 3D, if you're setting out in DAZ Studio and you want to sit, uh, tell your story convincingly, lighting is going to be a key, key thing. And one of those things that we're trying to do always as uh, indie filmmakers is save money. OK, so if you become a, a, a member of a DAZ 3D uh, like I am, look at how much this costs. So now I'm logged in and it's three dollars and ninety nine cents. This is uh, three dollars ninety nine cents that are going to save you a headache and save you so much time. And this is not just for still images. So whatever you see here, guys, whatever you're looking at, you know, all these beautiful images, imagine that as character animation, okay? And I'm gonna show you why I'm, I'm so excited about this. So once, once I came upon this uh, pack, I was super excited. It changed the way I was rendering my scenes and making them more convincing, especially when it comes to uh, Genesis 8.1 with that new PBR shader, it, it looks even better. All right, guys. So I've I've ordered it. Um, let me see. Just a quick walkthrough is you have to purchase it. Once you've purchased it, and if you're a, a member, platinum member, you're gonna you get a discount. So this is three ninety nine. Okay. Once you install it uh, using your Dust Central, it's gonna show up in your presets. So by default, it might uh, start off like this, but you under your render settings. Okay, so you need to go to presets under render settings, and this is where you find a list of these. And you can okay, accumulate a number of these so that whenever you have a scene, just note down that this is the one that I used and that you can uh, populate it across your different shots of your animation. So we have our character animation. Doesn't look great just yet. And actually, I'm gonna switch to NVIDIA iRay. And let's see what it looks like by default. Okay, 
So there it is. The skin looks nice, right? But there's something missing. So even if I move my car my timer over here, my uh, playback head, you can see the character is smiling, right? And she's looking all right. But until you start applying these presets. Okay, so let's go back to like, and it's always preferable to go to the first frame. And then after you apply the, set, the preset, then you test out the different uh, parts of the timeline. So let's first minimize this over here. And I'm gonna try to go through all of them so you will see the different looks, okay? So we'll start with this one up at the top. You simply just double click on it and it changes the entire appearance of the setting. Guys, $3.99. <laughs> if you're a platinum Kemba, uh, platinum, platinum Kemba, platinum member of Dust 3D. And that just changed in one click. You're able to change the appearance of this uh, uh, shot here. And guess what? Because it's here, uh, applied to the first keyframe, guess what? Every frame after that is going to look as beautiful as the character that you see on the screen right here. So you can see the reflections and the uh, tear line and all that, even the hair. And I'm not even using the denoiser just yet so you can see the different quality of the shader. Okay, so that is the beauty of this uh, pack. And if I zoom out a little bit, you can see how it's lighting up the hair and lighting up the outfit. So this is a cyberpunk uh, outfit. And so I'm going to zoom in back so we can get closer. And let's go back to the next one. So this is just a, a test of what all the other, the other packs can do. We're just going to go real, real quick through and see what it looks like. So let's do the next one. An, and then it puts like a highlight. So it, it creates like this lighting preset that then you can render out uh, using the, under your render settings, you go to editor, after under environment, make sure you turn off draw DOM, okay? So that it can render an alpha channel with your sequence of images and then you can composite it in your set. Your set. All right, let me uh, just put that back on so we see what it looks like and go back to our presets. Let's go through. Let's try this one. Look at that. You can see the beauty of all the uh, the lighting. And some of them are similar, uh, but we just keep going. And let me just minimize this as well. And you can see like a nice highlights on the face. Let's go to the next one. Look at that. Like nice. Let's zoom out a little bit. So you can see the hair. So whatever you have the character wearing, it's going to pick up all the details and the lighting is going to display so nicely. Let's keep going. I wish I had some music in the background, but for now, you just have to deal with my voice. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Let's go to this one. So think of like when you're location scouting, yeah? This is almost like location scouting in a sense, but this is lighting scouting. What kind of shot are you looking for? What are you trying to achieve? Double click on the next one. Yeah, look at that. So, and then again, don't forget guys that this, my character is animated. So if I were to move my playback head, now you can see the power of these lighting presets. Look how the character looks in this uh, preset. So that's the beauty of also having the animation here, so that you get you get a chance to see what the how the lighting setup, the HDRI is uh, gonna help with your shot, and because it's, a, it's an HDRI, it makes the rendering go a little bit faster than uh, typical lights. Let's go back to the first uh, frame. Let's go to the next one. So you can guys, you can tell why I was super excited once I found this pack, because. All the shots that I was looking for to get that realism in a DAS studio it was, I mean, it changed everything. It changed the way I render my shots. And I'm going through these sets so that you you got you have you have an idea on which shots you might find. Like if you see one, you're like, man, I think this is gonna work for like a sci-fi shot, or maybe it's a home shot somewhere. Maybe she's uh, on TV. You know. 
So look at that. And some of these, I'm not going to let them bake until the end because some, some of the live presets require more time. So the noise goes away. I mean, and you can also still uh, turn on the denoiser, but I don't want to do that because I want to, I want you to see the texture right away to see how it, the normal maps are behaving, the highlights, the specularity. Let's cut the next one. Cut that one. And then that one. And the previews give you an idea of where the light is going to be. But again, depending on the texture of your character, uh, it, this preview might not be true to that. So that's why you have to test it out on each shot and you see. But look at that. Let's go to the next one. You know, like some of them are mysterious. Let's go down. I'm going to make it to the end. <laughs> That's number nine. Let's go to number 10. I even, I have some favorites in here that there are some shots that I have been working on that I know look great. So like a metallic blue. And so this, I mean, even after you take it to like uh, After Effects, you can still do color correction, but it gives you a very good starting point, you know, so that again, I'm thinking of concept. You know, if you have an idea and you're trying to flesh it out, maybe you have uh, an idea that you want to pitch to your art director or to your team. This is a quick way for you to get some quick lighting setups and see how you know it's gonna you're gonna use the light to tell the story and sometimes you may end up actually using these as the final shots because it looks so nice and especially once you test with the animation and the character you know so you see what she looks like when she's blinking what she, what she looks like when she's uh smiling and it, i mean it looks beautiful you can see the teeth if you if there are things that need to be adjusted here's where you make this is where you make those decisions uh, let's go back to the first one the first frame rather Go to the next one. I'm trying to try to make it to the end of here. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. And let me, I also have uh, glasses in here. Let me see what, it, if I turn on the glasses, what it looks like. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is so cool, right? So again, just go through, try it out with the different uh, characters and the different uh, artifacts. So each lighting preset is going to have a different effect on the, like the different assets or props that are on the character. And so you look for the one that is going to communicate your story the best. And let's try, <laughs> I'm going to try to go to the very end. Uh, I want to see the eyes though. Let's turn off the glasses for now. Got the next one. Let's try it. go through a little bit quicker. And uh, again, uh, you've seen me uh, like the interaction of this. You see how much faster it is. Uh, that's because now I have. Uh, I mean, I have. They do have a duo set up for uh, the RTX cards, and so this makes it much easier for me to preview. So consider investing in a, a good graphics card. And that will improve on your previews and uh, previews, especially when you're trying to uh, put together some ideas. Okay, and let's go to this one. Look at that, looking beautiful. Let's go to the next one. And what I love is uh, the subsurface scattering that is being honored. You can see the lips. That is cool. Let's go to the next one. And so some of these are mirrors of the of, of each other. So this is a, a mirror of uh, this one. So it's on the opposite side. That's why you see one is saying mirror, one is not. So this is for 15, 15. So it kind of ma uh, flips the HDRI to the other side. There's that little green, greenish tint. And then on the other side. So, I mean, some of the, the, these uh, setups communicate better when it's flipped and that's why i'm so glad that they actually have the mirrors mirrored versions of these and this one i love this one is one of my favorites so so what's what's cool is that let me actually do this so she's in the shadow right and if i i move the timeline to like here look at that 
like you no know, it looks it's looking mysterious but it gives you such a, a nice feel like she's being contemplative imagine her maybe like in like some kind of alleyway or maybe she's on a phone talking to someone calling in reinforcements whatever <laughs> so this is really cool that is this is one of my favorites say so let's go back and make sure I'm on the first frame in that one flipped on the side and that's another mysterious one looking all right 17 we're almost there guys that is cool now we click again the reason I'm going through all this is that you get a better sense of what the lighting setups do you can imagine these are over 20 shots that you could actually have different setups and properly animated you can use them to tell stories so cool and you can imagine so that my going back to my earlier point when i say the video the power of lighting you know the ability to tell a story using lighting is like painting with light it's gonna change the way you do your shots and i i can't have enough on this price right here so 3.99 you could you mean you could set up these lights you know manually and it might uh, take you maybe 10 20 30 minutes maybe an hour before you get it right but this gets you there quicker as you're trying to make decisions and sharing with your team with a director with a film director I love this one also. So we are at 23. Let's go to this one. And that's like a dark one, mysterious one. And that one. And finally, number 24. And I think I'm going to finish. Let me go back to the one, that one that I like. Which one was it? I think it's the mirrored version. Okay, so we will finish off with this one. <laughs> and we're going to find a, a place where she's uh, smiling or looking like that. That way. All right, that, that one looks great. So let me actually zoom in. Yes. So guys, this is what this today was a, an exercise in showing the importance of lighting. Look at that character. <laughs> she looks beautiful and she's animated. And so I highly, highly encourage you guys to try out the HDRI photo shoot for your animations, not just for still images, for your character animations. You're going to get such beautiful renders. This is an example of that. And with a, combined with GPU rendering, your animations are going to look so much better in DA Studio. So this uh, is like professional lighting. You can imagine, you know, this this is what we try, we we strive for as uh, art directors to get something that communicates really well. So I hope this was helpful, guys. And uh, like I said, give it a try and let me know what you think. I would love to see some of your renders and what you're able to come up with. And as always, guys, please uh, spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are alerted when I post a new video. And consider becoming a patron uh, so that we can continue sharing this, uh, this journey together as we learn and tell our stories convincingly and uh, with uh, pride. So please stay safe. Dare to dream big. Don't ever give up on your dream. We have tools at our disposal that can help us to get there. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time and bye for now.